Oh, new citizens. Are they coming into land? Come and join us. And they're, all, they're so cool. They just slide backwards. <laughs> Shamon. You won't catch me sliding backwards. I'd spill my space tea. Hello, guys and girls. And welcome to Cliff Empire. Another city building style game that we are going to just dive straight into. Because there's so much to show you. And it's really, really fun. This is out on the 27th. It's early access, so, you know, usual caveat of there might be some bugs. There's going to be lots of things that will be added. But let's dive in and play. We are going to start a brand new game. You see, I've just been trying one out there. So we're going to go with this one here. And we get a little bit of a story about a nuclear war in the past decade. I will let you read through this. So there we go. It's not really explained in the blurb at the beginning there, but the reason they're building these cliffs up in the sky is because there's a 300 meter thick radioactive fog that is all over the surface of the earth. So here we are. This is a different cliff. So these are obviously, there we go. Look, we can zoom right out. We've got different cliffs that we can build on eventually. How many have we got? We've got three. Yeah, we've got three here that we can expand and build to. Ones that I had before uh, didn't have this water on here, which is quite nice. So we'll see about that. So these are the slots where we can build. We can select these to build different items in. Uh, different size ones have access to different types of items. And we've got lots of information here on the screen as well, which uh, tells us about what's going on. So we have our funds. You'll notice that when you go to build something, it costs a certain amount of funds and a certain amount of items as well. Um, I'll show you what the different items are in a minute. But there's all sorts of things. Green is normally residential stuff. Uh, the orange is industry. The blue is to do with power. We've got all the different sorts of power. Uh, purple is normally to do with, um, as you can see, entertainment, things that... Whoa, no, hang on. I didn't mean to build that. Town Hall. <laughs> I don't know if I get that stuff back or not. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go back to the large one. <laughs> what was I looking at? This one here. Um, and then storage and matter mines and 3D printing are over here. Well, it's actually asking us to build a storage. Now, as you go through the game... Uh, you get a little pop-up here, which helps you choose what you want to do as well. And as you can see, different uh, buildings belong in different sizes. So this really reminds me of Anno as well. Let us get some storage in here. So that is going to be this one here. So five matter, 300 credits. Large construction completed. Yeah, Anno, where you're sort of balancing resources and that sort of thing. That, it's got that sort of feel to the game, which I, I'm quite enjoying. Um, there's different production chains that you need to go down. Plus, it looks really cool as well. <laughs> I like this. There we go. We get a reward for building a storage. So, this gets dropped down um, from the orbital station. And it has some items in it already. There's some cool camera modes as well. If you press that uh, tab. There we go. We sort of get like a much closer zoomed in camera mode. So, we can have a look around. And you can see all these resources that they've dropped off for us here like a first person camera mode isn't it we can we can sort of fly upwards there we go and uh, whoa a bit too quick so let's have a look what sort of items is it uh, do they give us well matter which is what everything is made out of obviously in the universe and in the game water we have grain for food we have fish or we don't have any fish uh, we have uranium for power which is nice we have batteries so We'll see about how we need to charge those up and store those for power. And then there's other items here that you can make and trade as well. So we will see about that. So let's follow the next one. A landing platform. We do want more people to move in. A landing platform, I believe, is built on one of these special ones here. But we'll take a look. There we go. So for the current task, you need to build two house buildings or one medium residence. Uh, also, a landing pad, which can only be constructed on a special blue cell. So, there we go. We've got a blue cells all over the place. I'm just thinking we've got this place over here that we'll probably want to connect to, and that one over there. Yeah, so let's use this one here as the landing pad, which I believe is the, the uh, that one. There it is. Landing platform. Allows receiving capsules from the orbital station. One capsule can hold 25 persons. So... 
You need enough residential space free. Uh, uranium is needed to refill the capsules. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So that's something we need uranium for to get more people as well. Well, let's start constructing that. There we go. And while that is building, we'll take a look at these options down here. So control speeds up and slows down the game. Shift gives you like a torch, which is good at night time. Efficiency. So if you have 10 people and have all got a job, that'll be 100%, which is great. Um, and that can affect things. Obviously, our population, how many spaces we have for people to live. Well, we haven't got to that yet. Uh, how many that wish to come, that is affected by our efficiency. The higher it is, the better it is. If we have places, then we'll have people come to settle. And they come in blocks of 25, which we shall see as we go along. And then how many workplaces we have. So if I remember correctly, there we go. Workplaces, and we have no workers for this yet. So we will get some of those in a moment. So there we go. They're building that for us. And then over here, we have our power supply. So how much power we're making, how much power we need. And that can go up and down. A bit of solar power, if we have batteries, all that sort of thing. There we go. Excellent. So we want them to live somewhere. So let us just take a look. They don't like to live near industrial places. What is likely to go in that one? Uh, all sorts of different things. So I think... Oh, let's press shift. Ooh, we can see what's going on. Maybe some houses over here. Maybe farms, industry over there. We'll try and sort of spread it around a bit. So what can we build in there? One house... Uh, what's this one here? Office building. I was thinking maybe of a larger one. And we get like a medium house in here. Residential complex. Uh, we'll get to that. That is a bit big for now. Oh, there's man, There's so many different things we can build. Let's make sure we don't double click. I actually wanted a medium one. So maybe we'll swap it around. And do it down here around the river. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, here we go. Look. Two little spaces by the river. Let's go for one house there. There we go. Oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it, that one? And then we'll do another house there. There we go. So they're going to bring over the stuff for us. Oh, there's fish in here as well. Oh, I didn't have that before. So I'm guessing we'll do some fishing at some point. Um, so these... Construction there we go. 15 residential places. So that is pretty good. Small construction completed. Thank you very much. There we go. So we've got some credits. So we have places for 30 people. Uh, wishing to settle, we've got 10, 11. That will slowly go up. And then when they want to move in, um, they will come and move in. And we'll see them arrive over here. Excellent. Now these down here while we're waiting our needs we want oh there we go new citizens let's slow down look at that little orbital rocket thing let's turn off shift that is that is looking cool let's get a closer look at that there we go and the people are coming out the first people i love the way they don't really walk they just sort of slide out i think some of the graphics maybe for for these are are temporary oh there we go we're going to see them coming hey they come welcome Welcome. Lovely to see you. Completed. Excellent. And there's our rocket as well. Cool. And it's going to take off and go back. Yep, it's closing up. Woohoo. Go on, then you're going to take off. I think it's got to wait for these to all get. Oh, what are you doing? You're taking. Oh, you've got to fill up with uranium. Of course you have. Uh huh. And there they go. Is the uranium going to. He's off. He's a bit wobbly. There he goes. And he's gone. And he, I guess the uranium will disappear as well. Excellent. So there we go. They basically, the people slide. And let's put that on. They slide all the way to the end here and then just sort of disappear. <laughs> so that's good. Let's get our reward. So we need some energy. Let's read this here. So we're powered by batteries from the warehouse, which we saw. Um, let's slow things down a bit. But they are limited. Build a wind generator or solar panels depending on the climate of the cliff, which we're building on to increase power supply. So we can do small or large. If we have a look at the climate up here. So groundwater, 80%. Sunshine, 30 Windiness, 50%. So that's quite good. That will affect, as it says there, instead of producing 32 kilowatts, it will produce 16 kilowatts. That is pretty good. So, we could have a nice little section of wind turbines over here, I reckon. We could do three of these. Let's do one. I mean, they're only taking three matter and 100 credits. So, let's do three of those. 
There we go. And then along uh, along with that, it will tell us in a moment uh, to Small do... Small construction Yeah, there completed. we go. Excellent. I don't think these need workers. Oh, they Small each need one worker. Completed. So workplace is seven. Small construction completed. Well, oh, there we go. Done. Excellent. We're nearly there to 250. That's pretty good. And then we're going to start saving that. So we can see here we're making lots of power. We're not actually saving it yet. Which it should... 250 is that going to tick over that should have ticked over by now but i know what the next thing is that we need to build so let's close that down okay what we want to do is store some of that power that can be built on a small one i'm thinking this one over here or actually let's do it alongside the bridge over here we'll tuck that out of the way a battery station i know we're going to need one of those there we go so let's get that done i'm hoping this isn't a problem that it's going to get up to 250 and we'll get our rewards. And this will help Small for the next one. Completed. There we go. So 240 energy producing. There we go. So that's going to start taking excess power and turning it into batteries. That is the way it gets stored. Uh, I think we need another one of these. We're getting 240% uh, percent energy rather than actual energy. Okay. Well, we're going to put another one of these in front. And that will take us over, I'm sure. There we go. Going back to get the staff. Uh, still got plenty of matter and things. Small there we go. Excellent. Completed. So we... Objective completed. There we go. So we've done the next one. We just need to charge two batteries. So we'll speed things up to get that going. Lots of wind. 320% power. This is great. So I'm assuming the wind changes maybe. Let's just see. Generates four, max power eight. No, so I think that's it. It's, there's a visual a visual look of more wind, but it's still producing 50% of what it should. So there we go. So that's going to start building up our storage of batteries. As we saw in here, we have 48. And later on, we'll be able to sell those to make more money as well. These things sort of just hover around. <laughs> Once they've built something, they just stay there. There we go. So now we need some water. Now... It, when I sort of tested this earlier, let's slow down again, it felt like I was whizzing through loads of stuff really quickly. But actually, it starts to get quite complicated once you've got the basics down. So we'll talk about that when we get there. But there we go. Water is one of the most important resources of the city, which is extracted by a water extraction station for human consumption and growing food. That's what the water's for. The presence of groundwater depends on the characteristics of the cliff. So we can have a look at this. And groundwater 80%, which is actually pretty good. I mean, we want to look for a medium one. I'm thinking maybe this one here. We'll keep these things out of the way. Um, water extraction, that's it. I thought it was a tall thing like that. So only seven matter for this one. And then again, we will start storing up water. Is it in here? Matter water. We've got 76 water consumed and sold oh interesting okay so you can keep your eye on your figures there as well uh, unemployment benefits those that don't have jobs get paid um, so you really want to keep people in jobs so they're working for you rather than actually costing you money so that's something <laughs> get to work or i'll blind you with my sci-fi torch from the sky <laughs> reminds me of the national lottery it's you there we go, excellent. So, workers in there, good. So, we've got a population of 25. We can get... We've got space for five more. But remember, they only come in pods of 25 at a time. So, I'm thinking over here, we're going to put a large residential complex. Um, which will hold... I didn't quite read it before it went. Was it 55? Yes. So, we will start getting more coming in. There we go, we're extracting water. There we go. Completed. Excellent. So build crop fields and harvest crops. So now we need to get food for our people. Uh, we do have 66 grain. We have no fish. So let's have a look at this. To get food, you need to create crop fields for the current task. Four small fields or one large field. Large oh, I think people are coming. Population 25. Place is 85. Okay, let's just slow down and enjoy the view of what we've just built. Oh, look at our residential complexes. I, I do love the graphics in this. It's a little bit different, isn't it? With it all being white. But futuristic. 
Oh, we built the building and it comes with people already. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I, I get I get why you put those in there, but we'll have some more coming to settle very soon, I'm sure. 40 wishing to settle. Excellent. That is really good. We've got nobody unemployed. Two people unemployed. Well, there'll be a farm soon, so... Uh, didn't mean to click that. Let's click this. Uh, so, crop fields. Open crop fields are more effective on cliffs with fertile ground. Which I believe we have... Uh, soil fertility doesn't say. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, indoor crop fields do not depend on the soils. Fecundity? I have no idea what that is. Wow, I know a lot of big words, but that is one I don't know. But they consume energy. Which is fine. So I'm thinking maybe some indoor crop fields. Um, what size new are they going to be? Oh, new citizens! Are they coming into land? Come and join us! Our colony, Central Cliff, is an amazing place. Can't rename it yet, but... Here they come! So we've got a population of 25. We are about to have... Oh, there they are. Look, you can see them inside the thing. Look, they're all stood in there. Ah, <laughs> that's great. And they're, all, they're so cool. They just slide backwards. <laughs> Shamong. They're just going to slide backwards into the colony. Oh, that, she's not so cool. She's like, you won't catch me sliding backwards. I'd spill my space tea. But apart from that, hang on a minute. He's got a face on both sides of his head. What kind of humans are you sending me? Okay, well, we'll just we'll just make do with the weird humans. So let's make some farms. Where can be our farming district? I reckon over here. Sort of either side of the wind farm or maybe over here by the storage. Yeah, let's go for this. Let's make an indoor crop field. We've got plenty of power. So that is going to take some of our grain, eight water and four matter. Yep, let's make one of those. Right there. Let's shine a light so the guys can work at night. Well, the drones. <laughs> there we go. The drones can work at night. Let's speed things up a bit for them. And then we have to harvest 12 crops. We've got 15 unemployed at the moment. So... Yay! They're here. We have population of 50. Fantastic. Large construction completed. There we go. So we have 11 unemployed. That takes 8. So we could actually build one more farm. We're going to do that right there. Power supplies at 100%. So these are going to take more power. Uh, how much power do they take? Consumes 12 kilowatts. Uh, these are giving out 8. We also have the option of... Let's find a small square over here. Solar panels. So they will give us 15 during the day. Completed. So I'm thinking we're going to pop completed. some of those down. Oh, there we go. We've got the 12 crops. <laughs> crops. Say the word correctly. Quite quickly. <laughs> and unemployed Small 19. Completed. Uh, let's just have a look at this. So we've got places in there. I don't mind having people that don't have jobs yet. There we go. Look, we can see the crops that they're gathering off the field. The grain. Excellent. Has that been finished? Yeah, of course. That's not going to work at night. But our battery place is going to keep making the batteries. Yeah, not at the moment because we're only at 100%. So we'll get a bit over and we'll store some more batteries. So we're using all of our resources to build things and our matter is going down. We need to build a matter mine and extract some matter. So to further expand the city, you will need a lot of building material. It can be attained from mines that extract a universal matter. Extraction rate depends on the cliff's deposit. So let's have a look here. Uranium deposit, matter deposits, it says zero. So there's nothing to tell us uh, what we can do, actually. Let's try this. We click on there. Oh, okay. Last time it sort of popped it up and showed us what we wanted. So the matter mine is a large thing. I want these to be all farms here. Let's maybe go for one of these. If it was that, what else can we fit in there? Oh, look at that. We can fit in massive... Wind... Oh, I see. Or maybe I'll leave this for wind turbines and we'll go here for the matter mine. Well, it doesn't matter where the matter mine goes. It just matters that we have a matter mine. Do you mind? But it really doesn't matter. So let's stick one here. That's going to take 10 matter 
Uh, it's going to use, oh, minus five on the ecology, consumes three kilowatts, and it's going to give some jobs as well. So, there we go. You can say my Mattermine tongue twister three times quickly in a row. I'll give you an internet hug. How about that? There we go. So they're going to get that built for us. Thank you kindly for your assistance. Hey, she's looking nice. I'm liking this. Let's just have a quick look at our food production and stuff. So produced grain. Not actually produced any yet by the look of it. Water we're Large producing. Aha! So we're still at 100% power. Is this kicking in yet? Generates 4 kilowatts. Sun shines 30%. Oh, man, I didn't realise that. Well, as long as we're at 100%, we're not losing any. Let's have a look at that. So, don't forget, we want to keep these blue things free for getting across to other places. And it's extracting matter rather quickly. Cliff effect. Yeah, so there's some things in the game, like we said, early access that aren't quite finished. Oh, I haven't explained what these are down here. These are the needs of our city. Um, as this thing, completed. there we go. As this thing falls, we can see that we need to, for instance, ecology um, affects our attractiveness. We've actually spread things out, so that's quite good. Uh, before, when I tested this, I just clumped it all together in the middle just to see. And things like buildings and factories and mines. Oh, look at that thing! That is smashing away into there. Uh, things like that affect the ecology or aesthetics. That's got a three. What's these two got? That's got no aesthetics. Okay, so we want to make the nice ones. Uh, I think some of these have minus. I think that's what that is. Minus five ecology. Do these have any? No, these don't have any negative effects. So, oh, they're okay. Right, now we need to use some of the matter that we're extracting to make some things. So we have a 3D printing factory. You can use the matter to create engines, furniture, home appliances and electronics. When a factory is built, you can click on it and specify what exactly should be produced. So let's make our 3D printing factory. Uh, I'm going to make it right next to it here. They do a big one. Oh yeah, look at this. The trading portal. That'll be coming up soon. Um, yeah, let's do that here. So, 3D printing factory takes 12 matter. How much matter do we have? 27. And we're producing some as well. Uh, population 75. So, we've only got space for 10 at the moment. But I don't want anybody to be unemployed. So, we're going to wait until all the jobs are taken before we try and get some more people. There we go. Construction completed. So, if we click on this... We can choose what we want to make. So we want engines and furniture. So take appliances off and put engines and furniture on. That takes 9 matter. That takes 14 matter. And we can choose what we make. Um, so, I mean, we could have... Yeah, both of those running. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it doesn't. Beg your pardon. It, it's making one at a time, isn't it? Is that going to then click over to 4 and 4 on the next? Yeah, there we go. Objective Excellent. Completed. Very good. So we get 100 credits reward for that as well. So what we can do is build another one of those and have them set up to build other things and they'll do them quicker or have one for each. Yeah, we can do that. Right. A trading portal. This is where we make money. Unemployment benefits. We've still got 14 unemployed. There we go. They're running the stuff back and forwards for me. That takes five workers. That takes five. I just want to make sure we're producing. Consume two... Yeah, we're producing more than we consume at the moment. That's good. Water. 37 stroke 18. I'm not quite sure what that means. Whether that's a case of we're not making enough. Or whether that's how much we can store. That might be how much we can store down here. Hmm, maybe I missed a little, a little pop-up somewhere that told me that, but I don't know. Anyway, let us build the trading portal. That is massive. Huge, in fact. To trade with the orbital stations necessary to build a portal, the barge will arrive through the portal once a day in the morning. When the building is complete, you can click on it and choose which goods you want, I should say, to sell or buy. So let us choose a huge spot for that. 
which we've got these two in the middle here. I think one of those right by our storage will be absolutely fantastic. What's that one there? Airport. Small and large aircraft serves as a transport connection point between cities on different cliffs. Ooh. Wow. Well, let's build this first. We need 30 matter. Consumes 30 kilowatts of power. Okay. So let's just think about this first of all. We are not making enough power. And then everything's going to break down. I've had that before. I've not watched what I'm doing. We don't have enough matter. So if we try to build that, the power wouldn't be enough. This would all stop. And then we basically be stuffed. So I'm going to try and make 12. We're going to make some more power. So let's start constructing that first. So whether that's deliberately designed to try and catch you out or to make you think or what, I don't know. But it did catch me out before. And then my whole colony collapsed and that was that. <laughs> but we want to have a surplus of power. Uh, ecology... Decreases with the growth of industry in the city. Significantly decreased by nuclear power plants. Rises if parks and crop fields are present. Okay. Well, the attractiveness of our place is pretty much Large still okay. Construction completed. Excellent. Power surplus. It still says 100%. Seriously? Generate 16. Max power 32. Well, we know they're making 16. And these are doing 4 each. I would have thought that would have gone up again. Well, we need, for the trading portal, 30 matter. Um, so let's wait until we've got 30. We've got 28 at the moment. I'm pretty sure... I think that's the maximum it can hold, you know. I'm wondering whether we just need another storage here. Um, let's put in another storage workplaces for... Yeah, I think that's what this is down here. Is how much it can hold. Large construction completed. So let's... Is that finished? Yeah, they're starting to move stuff over there. Yeah, there we go. Look, this is overall... This is what each one has. Perfect. That is more like it. Uh, also, yeah, we've got tab, which is the camera view we see on the right-hand side there. And we've got F2 as well, which is a bit odd. If we just slow this down a minute, press F2... It sort of takes you into a almost, yeah, there we go, realistic sort of view. But then if you do tab as well, it takes you to that. I like this view, but I want to get rid of the GUI as well. So if there's a way of doing that, that'll be great. It's, it's a bit warped. You can't sort of play in this view, but it's good for getting screenshots. The depth of field works really well in that view. Hope it's not making you seasick. Let's go back to normal. There we go. Good, so now we're making even more. 45, yeah, perfect. So, let us get in here. Should we go there? Let's just check our other options. But we could do it over here, right? Let's do it over here, actually, right by... I want to do by the storage, but then we could use that for other things. Like, we've got a massive park. Yeah, I'm going to do it over here. There we go. Trading portal, 30. Aesthetics 5. Oh, that's good, actually. That'll be near where we're going to start building some more houses and stuff. Eventually, once we're not unemployed. Uh, once we haven't got anybody unemployed. How's our goods going? So, we were making furniture. We've got 10. And engines, we've got 13. Still making more batteries. I hope we are. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the excess power. Yeah, that sort of stopped. I seem to be not able to get excess power at the moment, which is slightly worrying, but we'll see how that goes. And you've got to see this thing. This is going to be fantastic when it pops up. It's like a proper Stargate. Let's speed things up a bit. Quick sip of tea. Look, it's already lit. You can see it working. The blue shimmer. Oh, 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 that was me. What's this one here going to be for? I don't know why that one's orange. There's a particular... Oh, I know why it's orange. I think that's because I can't build in front of that. Or was it already orange? No, there's another orange one over here. I mean, these have got ports. Allows breeding and harvesting fish. Ah, that's what it is. It's by there. Okay, cool. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. And then we can set it to trade those things that we've been making. Which is fantastic. Just check out I'm reading this right. Low percentage of energy. 
Um, no percent of energy that slows the production of goods and efficiency of building. So I'm wondering whether that just means we've got enough power, that we're okay. That's wind, that's electricity, and we're just sort of meeting our needs. But then I'm sure what it should do is take the extra and turn it into batteries. That's what I understood it to do, which is that one there. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I could. Let's just try to disable the Oh, it's done. There we go. Let's slow this down and take a look in the F2 mode. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. So we are going to have, every morning, something pop through there. A barge. So we are going to trade. Let's just double, double check what we're making. We're making engines and furniture. We're going to trade our engines and furniture. So, engines, buy, sell. There we go. I didn't see how many we had. 14. We're going to sell all of them. And then furniture. We're going to sell all of those. There we go. I don't think there's a way of maxing it out. No, there isn't. But we can buy stuff if we need it as well. Consumes 13. It still says 100%. So, we're still okay. So, let's speed things up. We need to trade... 120, so that might sort of take a while. Oh, wrong way. So, is, is it 14 at a time? Can it only take, like, 28? Because we've got more than that in here, haven't we? Yeah, we've got 26 and 20. So, 46. Oh, is that, there it is. The barge is here. So, we've got 1,031 credits. It's going up. There we go. Let's get the view like this. They're whizzing backwards and forwards, loading it all up for us. Oh, and it's gone. It went through. Did you see that? So we should get... Oh, it counts as 80. Nice. So is that just going to keep doing that every time? I think it will. By the look at it. Be order to bring material and send goods for sale. So you carry on doing that for us once more, and I reckon we'll get another boost. Still got some people unemployed. Well, what do we need? I, I want to put a port down here. Um, are we, like, full up? Ah, it can only hold 13 or 10. What about this one here? Ah, um, okay. So there, there is a limit on how much they can hold. Oh, man, we're filling these up like nobody's business. Trading platform oh, it's back. It's taking the next lot. 110. 120. Perfect. So we're now making of the money. That is really good. Oh my goodness me. Well, this is really cool. I mean, there's more stuff to build and to make. So I'm thinking we're going to save these things for the next episode. What do you reckon? Leave a like if you enjoyed it and want to see more. Hit the big B with a T-stain. To subscribe, we do lots of city building type games. You can see some of them linked on the screen. Foundation is a new one worth checking out. And we'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.